Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be invited to speak with you about retail banking and how the advantages, the advances in technology, especially telecommunication, is creating opportunities for banks to change and to improve their services. Yeah, we told this happened all morning. Too. All right. There is no question our world is changing rapidly at an accelerating pace. Mobile devices, network connectivity and speed, amazing new apps to exploit, the, the first two areas of change, it's all happening blazingly fast. We can now do many of the transactions that used to be limited to store or branch hours any time of, day, of the day, 24 by 7, and now from anywhere. The digital revolution has created immense opportunities. But those who fail to see and exploit these opportunities need to be aware. It's a two-edged sword that has driven successful companies out of business. Kodak failed to adapt to digital imaging. Blockbuster, the movie rental giant, lost out to digital movie uh, downloading services, as did many music retailers when iTunes and others started selling music online legally. But let me focus more on financial services and money. Barter began to be replaced by standardized coins in 700 BC, but it took over 1,000 years to the introduction of paper money. And it took another 800 years to see plastic money in the form of cards, uh, credit cards, and charge cards be developed. But change has accelerated. It's only 30 to 40 years for the next big change, which is electronic money, ATMs, POS, internet banking. And less than 20 years after the ATMs were introduced, we see new forms of money being experimented with digital currencies like Bitcoin. Retail banking has also changed much more rapidly in the last 10 years due to the fast development of new telecom technologies that enable us. Convergence between telecoms and banking services has been, has been discussed and anticipated since the 1990s, but it's only recently we've seen technology make that happen. Smartphones, mobile network speed and coverage are creating huge opportunities for banks make their services available anytime and from anywhere. But banks must grasp these opportunities, experiment, innovate, and change at a similar pace as the technologies develop. Banks that fail to keep up will ultimately become non-players in the market. In the mid-90s, the internet allowed banks to offer services 24 by 7, but you needed a private place to access your accounts through your computer, hooked up to the internet and fixed access points. Now with sophisticated mobile devices that provide fast internet access through mobile networks, even banking is getting more ubiquitous. Banking can be done anywhere and anytime. Retail bankers are rethinking their distribution models, finding the optimal mix of bricks and mortar branches with e-channels. Some banks, like ING Direct, have tried to provide banking solely through e-channels, but there is a realization now that retail banking still needs face-to-face -face meeting and retail presence. So how does this impact the Albanian retail banking market? When Refizen entered the market in early 2004, there were only a handful of ATMs in Tirana. It was really just an experiment. In the first 18 months that we were here, besides modernizing our branches and introducing new products, Refizen invested in 60 ATMs and put over 60,000 debit cards into unsuspecting customer hands. Intense education on using cards and ATM followed, as well as major expansion of the ATM network and the cards and the plastic cards in circulation. Other banks quickly followed, and an accelerated banking evolution, or really a catch-up, was underway in this market. The speed with which customers of all ages have adapted to new banking services in this market is impressive, and an encouraging sign for Albanian in the future. Today, there are over 800 ATMs in the country, more than 800,000 cards in circulation, and just over 5,000 POS terminals, about a quarter of them by our bank. Like many countries who are catching up in development, the speed of change is much faster than the countries who led the way, and technologies are leapfrogged to the latest innovations. In other countries that developed earlier, internet banking is still the leading form of digital banking, though mobile banking is catching up, mostly with the younger generation. But in Albania, mobile banking is eclipsing internet banking before internet banking has really established itself. Since we entered this market in 2004, Refizen has been a market changer, driving mass adoption of newer banking technologies and services in the market. 
There are now several banks bringing new innovations to the market as well, and hopefully an effective factor for continuing improvements and innovations in banking for this country. We introduced our internet banking in 2010. Adoption has been slow, largely due to the limited access to internet in a private environment like home. Internet cafes and workplace access to internet has allowed a large part of Albania's population to experience the web, but to comfortably do one's banking, home computers for internet access are best. In 2011, we introduced mobile banking. Adoption has been much stronger than internet banking, roughly 10 to 1. The penetration in Albania of mobile phones is on par with many developed countries, and even smartphones are in the hands of a growing part of the population. But our service only requires a Java-enabled phone, meaning almost 97% of Albanians have the device needed to use this very convenient service. Earlier this year, an association with a third-party provider and another bank, MPay, was launched. This simple service allows customers from the two participating banks to top up mobile airtime, pay utilities and other services anytime, anywhere. It is also usable on virtually any mobile phone. Given the convenience of doing transactions 24 by 7 from anywhere, and the simple types of transactions and easy, easy interface, the adoption of this service by Refizen customers has been higher than M-Banking at four times more people in just seven months. Customers with our mobile banking and payment services can now, can now do much of their banking when they want and where they want. Sitting in a cafe and you remember you have a payment due, no problem. Whip out your mobile phone, sign in, and do the transaction before your coffee even arrives. Traveling in France and your spouse reminds you by SMS that you were supposed to transfer money into an account today, no sweat. Five minutes and it's done as you grab a taxi to the Gaul, South Gaul Airport. They'll never know you forgot. Out with friends and run out of mobile airtime, charge it up in two minutes without ever leaving your seat. That's convenient banking. And we'll keep adding services to these mobile channels. Here's some of the results of Refizen e-banking. It's still very early and these numbers will grow dramatically in the months and years ahead. But it's clear, if we are determined enough to innovate and change the marketplace, we can succeed. There's a difference between demand and need. A need can exist without a customer demand because the customers don't know of or understand the solution. We need to educate and promote these solutions, just like Refizen did in 2004 with a simple but dramatically new solution of ATMs and debit cards. We need to give our clients easier around the clock access to their salaries through this and other means. Refizen will continue to, develop, to invest in developing customer acceptance and demand for innovation to prove it elsewhere. We will continue to try and lead innovations, but equally important, we have the size and power to create widespread acceptance of new services to really change the market of banking in this country. We will also work closely with the telecom operators and other innovators in this market to partner with them in bringing new ways to do retail banking in this country. Technology is a fantastic enabler for businesses like retail banking, but ultimately, businesses are still generated by customers. So I'll leave you with this last thought, this quote. Not only must new technology-driven services bring meaning meaningful benefits to the customers, but we must ensure the customers understand these benefits, master them, and ultimately embrace them. Thank you.